All right, I think we're up and running. Uh, hello again. It's Wednesday. Port Town's very, very windy, as is often the case. But the sun's out, so who cares? Great weather to be inside playing Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest with the shades drawn, because that puts weird light in here. Um, anyway, as you can see today, I am going to open all the packs. I've been just accumulating packs like crazy. <coughs> oh, you might have one more. Lots and lots of packs. Yeah, so I've just been playing all these little quick and dirty events. I think that bumps me out of the pack range. Oh! Oh no, so sometimes it just opens a pack for you, and I really don't like this, because you can't see what the card does. It's a really, like, unfun way to get a pack. Dang it, I already have Bruna. I need her counterpart, the... I forget what her name is. Flibbity Flaw. I'm sure that's what it is. Flibbity Flaw the Angel. Well, I think we have another pack of those. So maybe we'll get it in that one. Oh. No, no thank you. Wow, this is just bouncing me all over the place. Maybe my coffee didn't kick in yet. But uh, yeah, so like I've just been opening, or doing quick events, getting free packs, and look at them all. What do I have, five? I don't know why Kaladesh is on this side. Oh, probably because of this little ban banner. Weird. Yeah, so that's kind of fun. We're just going to have a good old time opening them, and then we're going to play an event and get one more pack. Just go for all the packs. Now, if we're lucky, we'll open a rare or two. If we're luckier still, there'll be a rare I don't have. But let's not get greedy. What should we do first? I think we should go in reverse chronological order, because because I'm the boss, and I think that makes the most sense. Um. These ones we should obviously be most excited about, because it has cards from the latest set, and blah blah blah, and I don't know, I'm just making up excuses. Let's open Shadows over in Strahd. Cool things to hit would be... let's see... It contains cards from Eldritch Moon, so we could get that other merge card. Um, Bruna, I think? Or did we just open Bruna? I don't know, no, Giz Gizel Gizella. Gisela? We could open good Gisela. She'd be cool. Meld's a weird mechanic, even in Paper Magic. They only printed about six meld cards or something. Cool mechanic. Kinda kinda goofy, but okay. Shut up right here. Open packs. Open packs. Okay. Kind of a dull card. Okay. Mm hmm Nothing. Darn. Fortunately, we have lots of packs to open. Kaladesh. There's a lot of good stuff in this, but man. Something about this set was really disappointing. I don't know. I, you know, there, there... It was described as having parasitic... Um, mechanics, meaning they kind of only worked within this set. That said, there were some really good cards in here. Also some stuff, I mean, all the energy stuff can't really be used outside this set very effectively. Um, this guy's so good. Not quite Vampire Nighthawk from uh, actual paper magic, but he's close. The only thing he's missing is flying. Seems fine. Oh! Aw. Oh, this thing is hot garbage. Bleh. Oh well, 100 more orbs. Maybe we'll booster craft into something good. Am on cat. I still have a couple of the gods to pick up. Um, any of the rares that I don't have that I would like? I'm sure there's something. I can't think of anything. I already have God Pharaoh's Tomb. We all know that's the best card on the planet. 
at least one of my favorite cards. Wow, lots of green. Okay. Meh. -heh. I was actually running this in a weird deck. Um, one of the new events, the one with the... Uh, it's got like a boss event, and the boss is, actually has two abilities. The first one is it just like tutors uh, support into play. And then if you had, and then if it had its second ability, which costs I think nine loyalty, which it can get to pretty darn quick and easy. Um, if it if you had if it has like if it has the city's blessing, so it has to have ten su ten supports in play. I don't think it has creatures. I think it tries to kill you with supports, um, or at least overwhelm you with supports. If it has the city's blessing, it just does ninety nine damage to you. Boom, you're dead. So I was running this um, after I got my ass handed to me by that dumb spell, dumb boss. And I was, I, I never actually needed to cast it because after I retrofit a deck, I was able to just keep its board clear of supports. But this was nice to have as a backup plan. Um, still never got to run it. I think that's supposed to be Nickel Bolas. No, that can't be right. That's not what Nicol Bolas looks like. It's creepy AF, though. I've never actually run the Hippo. It seems like a totally fine card. Alright, Ixalan. This is your chance to give me some cool new rare vampires. I don't have many of them. I've got one rare vampire, and I think he kind of blows. Alternatively, some of the uh, the new rare land cycle is really cool. I think it's mythic, actually. The rare lands are from rivals, and they're really cool. Just plowing through these. Nah. It's not a good card. There are better cards. This is probably good. I haven't played with Explore much, but in the events where my opponent gets to explore like every frickin' turn, it seems really good, even without this guy, you know? Um, <clears throat> just, it, it does stuff like it buffs their creature and it changes a bunch of mana around. It seems powerful. Um, haven't played with it though. <laughs> Alright, not doing so great on these packs. This is it, this is the one where we rip something really rad, right? Let's rip something rad. Okay, three more chances to rip something rad. Two more chances to rip something rad. Last chance to rip something rad! Okay, this has been a wash. <laughs> Glad I saved all those packs for nothing. Good start. Good effort. How are we doing on getting Braska? We're gonna need 650. We're 200 short. <laughs> I would like uh, Hotly as well, but I've never gotten to play with a black green planeswalker. I need that so bad. She seems cool too, because I don't like a Johnny. Green white a Johnny, because he's energy. He's got weird abilities. He's not that fun to play. Okay, let's try and win some more packs. Sorry, I'm yawning. I woke up early this morning because I could not sleep because I was... My brain was just spinning. Thinking about another game, though. I, I play uh, another game called Space Engineers, which is like... Minecraft in space is kind of what it is. And uh, it's really fun, but it... If I'm idle at all, my brain just... If I don't have anything else to think about, it's what my brain goes to, and I'm just designing spaceships in my head. It's a cool game. I plan to stream it at some point, but I want to get a couple of ships... Um, kind of in finer working order. I have one giant ship that I just recently ripped apart because I wanted to get it working a little bit better. Huh, I just realized, like, look, the number's below the center of the circle. 
I've never noticed that before. How weird. Anyway, um, we're gonna just try and pick up this set or this pack of unexciting cards. We won't make it to here. Eh, we no, we won't. Um, but these events are kind of fun. You can. T what I like to do sometimes is if I've made a new deck that I'm trying out, I'll you know start on the easiest one and see how far in I can make it before I feel like it needs to be drastically revised. Stifle the yawn there. Um, and it's a fun way to do it, because you can kind of see, like, okay, this deck is only good up until Gear Hulk. Now, obviously, these decks have different um, strategies going on in them, but they do increase in power level. There's a pretty big jump here. This deck is pretty strong. Um, this one is pretty easy. This one's pretty strong, so there's quite a big jump here, but this deck is still totally beatable. This guy gets really challenging because he just, um, like, almost every turn can just disable your first creature. Anyway, we'll, we'll play forward. This deck is actually pretty easy. Lose three or less creatures. So the obvious thing to do would be go creatureless. Um, is an option. Alternatively... I don't think this deck has much removal, so actually you don't have to go creatureless. Um, it, it tries to gain a bunch of life and just overwhelm you with creatures, but if you're punching really hard, you can just punch them really hard back. Uh, I don't want to do green because... Um, he is green. I did... Okay, so I did get a cool new card that I was really happy to get. It's uh, from uh, Rivals of Ixalan, Tilonali's Crown. This is a great card. This is kind of one of the cards, this kind of replaces one of the cards from Kaladesh that I was really sad to see cycle out called uh, Giant Spectacle. It did something very similar. It gave a creature a plus two plus one Trample and Berserk, I believe. And this one gives a creature plus three plus zero Trample and Berserk and deals one damage. So you can um, trigger your Enrage stuff and then you get that big stompy creature again, so really happy to pick this up. Um, and I've had a lot of fun with it. I revised this deck a little bit. It's more streamlined for um, an enraged deck. Uh, I put I took the green guy out and I put this guy back in. I still don't love him because he activates... he really needs to give the creatures in your hand haste until end of turn. That's how these haste abilities should work. Because you can activate this and totally whiff, right? Let's say you make your red match, you give haste to your things that are already in play that we're already going to attack. Then your new dinosaur comes out. It seems dumb. Uh, and then just a couple other things to... Why did I put this in? This may, might come out. There's a reason I had this in, and I... I mean, having some enchantment removal is not bad. Hmm. So I also put Hazaret's Favor in to also double up on my uh, hastiness. Um, we're not going to use this deck. We're going to use... So this is another deck I got something spicy. Yeah, this was such a good pickup so good. And so then you run him with Siren's Ruse, and you just lob six damage all over the place. And this deck is all about pulling creatures in and out. They're flickering creatures. So, what were we going to do? Let's play... Um, I personally want to play... I don't know if I've played this deck on screen, but it's fun. We're going to do it. Get our silver-clad Ferocidons on. Yeah. Yeah. Use deck. Boom. Funny story about Arborback Stomper. 
uh, when I used to play with some friends in Seattle, <clears throat> I in, when we were in Kaladesh era, I swear to God, for the entire time that Kaladesh, we were playing Kaladesh, he would always manage to get, he played green like every time, he would always get Arborback Stomper, and I would get him down to like, you know, five or six health, and then he'd go Arborback Stomper, gain 10 health, and I would have completely overextended myself. He did it every game, it seemed like. Every game. It's a really good card. And it's a... Uh, I think it's uh, uncommon in Paper Magic. Anyway. This is a great hand. We're gonna... We're just gonna go bip bap boop bip bap boop Okay. Now... bunch of white there. Drop that, I won't get the white. Drop that, I won't get anything. I think this is our best play. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I have a burp on deck, hold on. I wonder if that was off camera. My uh, preview doesn't show up here, even though, no, I'm just guessing. I have no idea what's going on here. This, this might not even be on. I hope it is. You need to see my disappointment in all those packs in person. Saving grace. Heck yeah. Just gonna put it on my uh, little raptor Fred. Oof. Boy, note to self. Wait until coffee is kicked in before planning Puzzle Quest on screen. Sure. Um, I'm gonna turn this guy off because we're gonna take a couple of hits on this dinosaur before he disappears. And we want to have room for the, uh, the dinosaurs that spawn. Yeah, I think that's the thing to do. And, yeah. And then once we have once this guy dies, we'll put our silver-clad Ferocidons out. Cool. Actually, let's try to get that out first. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh -huh, no, no, oh yeah, I guess he's red. Biff, baff, boof. All right, that's getting to be a bit of a problem. Ah! Unfortunately, we don't have a way to let it block now. Okay. I wish there was a way I could drop this and get all that black, but I don't think it's going to happen, so we're just going to live with this. Get the banner. Maybe I should have gotten the Frostodon out first. Oh, well, that's not bad. Oh, that's actually real good. Oh, he's going to bust up my enchantment. You jerk. Oh, boy. Really? You dubious challenged me? Oh, this is super interesting. I've never been dubious challenged before. It's a terrible card. It was my... Uh, Kaladesh pre-release promo foil. Jealous? When I left Seattle, I got a whole bunch of the foils uh, as joke gifts for my friends. They thought it was pretty funny. I think. I thought it was pretty funny. Oh, why'd this get disabled? Boo. Dang, doesn't- oh yeah, we do. We'll get the Frostodon out. 
He won't attack this turn, but he's gonna start wrecking face next turn. Dope. Bonk. That's quite enough damage from you, sir. Alright, we've got stuff lined up. I sure would like to get Saving Grace down, that'd be cool. I think we can make it happen this turn. Let's give our guys a little bump, gain some health. Wow, what a weird sound. I'm gonna take this black, which will give us some loyalty, maybe get us another little something. Nope. Um, we're gonna give him plus one plus one and prevent damage. Oh! No, that's what we gotta do. Um, because otherwise, he's gonna die on his first hit. So, he, he gets damage prevented, but we're really just looking to thin out his board a little bit. Because this 14 7 is causing me a lot of, lots of, da lot of damage. <coughs> Let's tap in our dude again. Keep trying for that saving grace. I'm gonna throw one of these out. Well, you know, we're gonna get a creature here in a second. Or, uh, thing of a bob. Drop that, that won't do anything. Get this red. What color is this guy like? Just green. Okay, so I'm free to take red and white at my leisure. But I should try and make it hard for him to get green. I think I'll do this, try and save my enchantment a little bit. Good deal. We're going to put the saving grace on you. Now we're going to put it on this guy. Because he's going to attack, take a little bit of damage, and we'll just be able to sit back and kind of chew stuff up. Good turn. Rawr! Kill that thing. I was hoping to kill that, but we'll do that soon enough. Bonk. You can't kill me, I kill you first. I don't really need Raptor Friend. Let's get a braid online. How is my enchantment doing? He's got two shields left. It's not a huge priority. Maybe we'll queue up one of these. These are kind of always handy to have lined up. Let's just keep doing this. We save for this one. <laughs> kind of low on health. That might just win us the game, actually. Yeah, that's over 30 damage. We win! I thought about adding Till and Ollie's Crown to this deck, but I think it actually um, kind of wants to be a little more defensive. I think. Weird. It didn't say the thing. Oh, because we were attacking. Oh, right. Our little raptor hatchling took one for the team. Oh, buddy. Doop, 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 doop. This fight can be real, real annoying because he just taps your first creature every turn. Um, ways around it. Uh... Hit him with other really big stuff. There's not really much you can do about it. Because it gets around hexproof because it doesn't target. Um, if you had some way to enable your creatures, there are a few ways to do that. Um, but it's really just easiest to kind of just suck it up. I think. I don't think he's the one that destroys one of your shield supports every turn.
might be. Let me think for just a sec. No, this is the guy that taps your stuff every turn, or disables your stuff every turn. This guy destroys your supports all the time. So you want to play a spell-heavy deck. I feel like I've played this. I keep changing out my rare merfolk. Um, I had one of the rare guys in there. Kopala? And after playing with him a bunch, I kind of don't like him. Since the AI prioritizes creatures over spells, it, it I just wish it was your opponent's cards, right? All cards in your opponent's hand cost five more. Or every time an instance of him entered the battlefield, or every time... Just something to make him feel a little more mythic. You know, he doesn't feel amazingly powerful. He feels kind of powerful. Um, so I came to the realization that what this deck wants to do is draw cards and buff creatures, and all three of these guys do that. This guy doesn't really draw you a card. He fetches it, which is a different mechanic. Um, but uh, basically does that. Um, quite a couple of supports. I don't think this is the one we're going to do. We don't want to play red. How many spells we got in here? Eh. This is a f silly deck. Oops, that's supposed to be a different card. Take me to church. Version 2. Uh, I think I was originally running with uh, one of the versions of a Johnny. It was silly. Cool ultimatum. That has a couple of uh, really pivotal supports. And if I lose those, the deck doesn't function very well. What about this? A couple of supports I don't hugely care about. Let's do it. More dinosaurs. Dinosaurs all day, every day. This is another one I was working on. Uh, my dinosaur decks are kind of taking different shapes. <coughs> I have four at this point. Um, this one is just green dinosaur ramp. Just get out bigger stuff than they can deal with. Chef at Monitor, of course, being an honorary dinosaur. Because it's a giant lizard. It's a dinosaur. Let me just double check. Yeah, see, he just blows your stuff up. He demolishes every turn. Huh, look, they even named it after the spell. Cute. Hey, we're done with you. So we're just going to try and get out our verdant sun avatar. In a timely manner. The sooner we do that, the sooner we can get Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Excellent. I'm just gonna turn that off because we don't need it right now. It will auto. Will it all little auto cast? I don't know. Sick. This is looking great. Okay, if we do this, we get a bunch of green. If we do this, we get some green and blue. Hmm. Alternatively, we do that. No, that's no good. I think we'll go for the green and blue. Okay, we're in good shape now. I don't think his deck runs a lot of removal otherwise. It's just annoying little creatures. And I forget if he runs any supports. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want my Carnage Tire now. Oh, sure. Oh, perfect! Again, more ramp. 
Now we'll pick up some more, excuse me, blue. Nice. Crunch. I was just thinking like, do I have any way to gain health in this deck? How am I gonna do that? <sighs> Staring me right in the face. Oh no, vehicles. Whatever will I do? Oh, that's a good one. Kind of a bummer to have out at this point. Granted, he buffs all your dinosaurs, but like, he's really good with Verdant Sun at the tar. Avatar, because uh, he just kind of gains you three health every turn. Kind of. What's this? Burp. Burp. Weirdest sound ever. Um. Could do that. Well, you know, let's let's draw a card. Ooh. Although. Cool. <laughs> um, he's just gonna blow it up. We might get one activation off of it. We might not. We'll see. Oh no! He must have used his ability and I didn't have any supports out. I like it. Um... Oh, there's a good play. This is one of my all-time favorite cards. It just... It ramps you mana, and it blows up gems. Um, and it bumps your first creature. I think it does a lot. I don't think it's quite on flavor with the, uh, the actual card. The actual card, I think, looks for a forest. Or, no, a land card, and puts it in your hand or in play. Whereas this um, destroys gems, and we see this sort of destroy, red destroy uh, block. Uh, we see this sort of destroy block effect a lot in red. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think if they wanted to keep it similar, they should have done something like convert a number of gems to your Planeswalker color or something. Um, that said, though, I love it. Excellent card. We're gonna cycle some of these. Whoops. Or not. I think I have Overrun in this deck. That'd be really handy right about now. Sure. I don't think he's casting anything. Ooh, that's great. We want that out. Uh, we're going to drain the mana out of... No, no. No, no, no. Hey. Come on, lizard man. Find me some mana. Ooh, free swap. I like it. And another free swap. Um. Only two free swaps. This game is busted. Did I already do this? I didn't! It didn't do much. However, another reason I wish it converted gems instead of breaking gems, this thing hits itself, like, I feel like 60% of the time. It didn't hit itself this last time. He may as well do it, he's just gonna blow it up. Mm, is there any point not to? Is there any reason to go over here? Are we gonna get that out? What are my mana gains? Alright, we will go for white. 
We're gonna go right... No, we're gonna leave this right here, because it blows up his own thing, too. Ha! <laughs> Idiot. Never mind. Doesn't blow up his own thing. I was like, what is happening right now? Right. We're drawing cards when our creatures attack. Because we're monsters. Oh, it must have converted some gems. Oh, it blew up its uh, the second side and made him discard his whole hand. I really love that card. It's so powerful. Oh no! Bonk. What is your... Do you have your thing up? You do. What a jerk face. No point in getting these out. <coughs> Excuse me. Nah, don't really care about that. Hmm, what is this? Right. Um, there's a fair amount of green. We'll go for it. We might hit something. Yup, yup. Dig it. If we're gonna do gem conversion, you kind of have to go all in on it. Um, because sometimes what ends up happening, and I see it happen with Chefette Monitor or Hour of, is it called Hour of Devastation? the green spell um, you change a whole bunch of gems to green you only get like one minor little break and you just set your opponent up to take all your mana again it happens all the time it's bad feels and escape perfect Let's see if we can get some more mana online eh, we don't really need that guy oh darn it broke our green or our uh red match we were going to make. Sorry, buddy. We've already got one of you and we're not using them. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. How much do I need to get four? Do I get a bonus from red? I do. Delightful. Crunch. Ooh. Yes. Good. This has been the sneakiest 1813 ever. Try for our Sword of the Animus. It's, apparently he'll uh, use his ability even if he doesn't have a support to detonate. So that's kind of handy. For us. Yeah, crunch. See, yeah, I just locked on. Gone! <laughs> I wish I had more than two shields, because that happens all the time. It's still... It's a very powerful card. Sort of. Gaia? No, sort of the animus. I am sorry about the odds. Woo! I was up late last night watching videos on YouTube, learning how chameleons change color. It's really interesting. Ammo Cat Booster! Got a bunch of white. Two of the same card in a row, uh-huh. Wow, that's actually a really good card. Well, this has been a disappointing day of crack packing. No, pack cracking. Krakens? Right, anyway. Uh, well, you know, let's just keep playing a few more games. And then we'll call an episode and I'll save up some more packs for next time, or we'll do something silly, or I don't know. I've already done this. Yep, already got those. 
Uh, let's keep clicking away at the fateful showdown. These games start getting a little more challenging. The Torrential Gear Hulk. Some four or less creatures. What's a good one? This guy, I can't remember what he does. He's blue. I feel like... I use Nissa's deck. Let's show off this deck. This is a fun, weird deck. We're, we probably won't meet the objective, but I really like this deck because it uh, it's just a weird deck. Weird dot deck. In fact, it's even called Weirding. It's fun. I like it. We will be, definitely be summoning more than four creatures. I just want to show this one off. It's a lot of fun. I think we should be able to take out Gear Hulk with it. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh huh. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get Worf Infiltrator out, because whenever I discard a card, uh, you summon a 3 2 Eldrazi Horror. You run that in conjunction with a couple of things that make you dump your entire hand and redraw your entire hand, and it's great. You just start getting out tons of Eldrazi. Additionally, he makes you discard once a turn anyway. <coughs> oh my gosh, I totally thought that was a free, free turn. That was silly. Ooh, that could have been bad. Get that now, we'll get this free swap. It actually is a free swap this time. Aha! Unfortunately, I can't do the monitor, but that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Great, and we got the Bomat Courier out. Electric Tomato, I've heard this thing called. It's kind of a funny name. It's a very funny name. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, we're going to do this. Get those loyalty. Get those green. Solid piece of removal right there. Okay. Splat. Oh, that's actually excellent. Let me get rid of his dumb support. <gasps> we are in business. Don't really need that. Gonna lose all our cards in hand anyway here in a second, but I don't think I wanna do this. Let me just go here. Goodbye. I love all these monuments. Um, I think I like the green one the best. The black and red one I have a little bit of a hard time triggering as much as I like, but the blue one's very good. Um, it's just disabling your opponent's stuff. We're going to ignore this for now, because hopefully we can get one more you know, stop a little more damage with this Bomat Courier. If not, if it's looking like we're gonna draw a ton of creatures. Try and get another one of those out. Ooh, we, we want a Sphinx Tutelage. Also great when you're discarding your hand and drawing six cards. I think we'll cycle this. Goodbye. Draw another one. And look at that. This just immediately gains you three mana to your blue creatures. So you can just cycle them endlessly. Also, I was talking about ways to enable your creature. When this creature enters the battlefield, each creature you control loses disabled. When you cycle it, again, you can enable your creatures. It's kind of cool. You don't often use them for that effect and you often don't cast him, you just use him to cycle. He's just kind of there. Okay, so here's a fun card in this deck. It 
Madness is this... They did Madness in such a weirdo way. But, um... When you discard another card from your hand, this card gains mana equal to its Madness value. So this card gets two mana. So if you discard four cards, you'd get this card for free, basically. However, you can't discard cards with Madness. I don't know. It's very strange. But if you're going to dump your hand, having this to suck up all that mana is just fantastic. Um, I guess I'll use this to just gain some mana. Her abilities almost don't really even matter in this deck. But sometimes you use your second one to cycle stuff into cards that that you want. I hope he casts a creature soon. I'd like to get rid of my Bomat Courier. No. Make this deck do something. I guess we'll just do it on our own. Because that sounds gross. Mm -hmm. I think it'll kind of speed things along, too. Goodbye. Huh, that's weird. It didn't ask what I wanted to do with the moon token. How strange. Oh, there it is. Weird, after it did all that stuff? How strange. So now we just drained the first card in his hand for six. Plus a whole bunch, like, for like 12. And then we took all the mana out of it also. So this deck just kind of locks your opponent out of casting stuff. Which is fun. Huzzah! Wee! Yay! We're gonna... What is this? Supports? That's fine. Whoop! <laughs> okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Because they're gonna try and bust this. And I don't need you anymore. So we're going to put you last because uh, the Warfside Infiltrator in play is going to make us discard it. I guess we'll just cycle this thing. Hope for a Chefet monitor or something. Nah, second Broken Concentration. Not my favorite. You don't really need to have doubles of them. We'll just throw it away. You can throw it away. You just can't have it discarded, forced out of your hand. I'm gonna go like this. Break our own enchantment. Yeah, Forgotten Creation is the exact card once you're online you pretty much dig for all the time. Okay, it's not the worst. It is pretty big though. Oh. Okay, something you can do with Insidious Will is you can play a crappy card first and uh, play a crappy card first so it counters a crappy card. It's not a great strategy. But it's what you have to do sometimes. Okay. Mm hmm. I don't see any mana. Which is a real bummer. Right. 
That's uh, that's one of the things you're trying to avoid. Fortunately, these two guys both have unblockable. So that's cool. Here's what we'll do. We'll cast this. Try and get rid of his... Uh, his counterspell thing, Insidious Will. And then the Eldrazi will smash into his Torrential Gear Hulk. Thanks. Go away, please. Boop. See, so now that just got countered. Everybody's happy. Crunch. <coughs> this fight will probably go a little long, so it'll probably be our last thing we do today. But, uh... The deck is pretty much online, working as expected. We're cheating stuff in play. What's this? Okay, good. Yep. We'll do that. Oh, I could have gone there and gotten one extra trigger out of it. Oh, well. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Darn it. Lovely. Okay. Excellent. Got another one. Sure. And then it counters, it drains all the mana from that spell. Makes it real hard for the opponent to cast anything. Generally speaking. <laughs> Another one. Let's get that online. Let's, uh. Oh, I can't even. Well, fortunately, we have a little trick. We can gain some mana. Cool. Now our Sheffets should be online. So here's the crappy thing about Imprisoned in the Moon. If I Imprison in the Moon this guy, all his supports are going to lump on the Imprison in the Moon and give him a ton of mana. So, it's not great. We're going to power one of those off. And we're going to keep this creature in hand because we want to maximize the number of little critters we get out each turn. Little Eldrazi boys. I'm gonna break one of his enchantment, one of his supports rather, servos. And then the uh, the monument disables his creature. Through his turn, I think, so it doesn't get to attack. So you can very easily set up just like a, a, a cycle or a combo of paralyzing his creature, making it so he can't cast spells, you're dumping your hand every turn so you're getting exactly what you need. We're gonna do that again. Um, not before we cycle a couple of things. Hmm. Put these creatures at the bottom. Kind of just want to make sure that your enchantment stayed powered up. Um, see, because it likes to spawn right next to them. Gosh, another one of those things. We might double cast accidentally. Oh no, I guess not, because we didn't dump our hand. It's fine. Bam! Excellent. Turn 
that off. Uh, I think we'll eh, we'll do this first. Gain us some mana. Another one of those. I mean, it's fine. I kind of need one of my combo dudes. Combo dudes. Nope. Also because you're drawing cards off of cycling, you're draining mana out of his hand off of Sphinx tutelage. That's why that card is so nuts. It's nuts even without cycling. Um. Cool. Break a few more of his supports down. I like it. Burning through our hand pretty quick. What's this? Cool. <coughs> I wonder what this spell was that he almost cast. Okay, so we're kind of drawing stuff we don't really need. So now's a good time to shit. Um, I'm gonna keep that up. We're gonna gain some mana with the Chef at Monitor. Okay, it's not great. I'd rather have like... Eh. What I want is another one of, uh... What are they called? That's who we're looking for. Forgotten Creation. Of course we weren't drawing him. He was forgotten. Terrible. Terrible jokes. Man. Do I cite... No, I'm gonna keep that, because we're gonna dump our hand again, hopefully, if all goes well. Gonna do it right here? Yeah. Dump in our hand. Dump in our hand. Excellent. Unfortunately, you can't cast two in a turn. Because the first one makes you discard the second one. But this is actually fine, because we're just going to throw out all these creatures and gain a ton more Eldrazi. Mm -hmm. Look at my mana real quick. Red is bad. You'd only get three mana off of that, and we need to get seven. Um... wait a turn to get our next forgotten creation out. Bit of a bummer. We shouldn't die in the meantime, but we've taken quite a bit of damage off that one creature. But this deck really tries to lock you out before you do anything. I think we can do it this turn. Hey, stop that. Hey, what? Bap, bap. That was weird. Yes, get there. Okay, got it. Disable this creature, dump our hand, get three or four more new Eldrazi. Drain mana out of his hand. Gain mana towards our counter spell. It's a very synergistic deck. Aha! We did it. So yeah, those fights go a little long, but they're fun. I, if you're playing a fun deck, you don't mind the games going long. 
because you get to see your cards do weird stuff. Sometimes you're, some of the higher end bosses are stressful because it's just like everything they do, just like you take 50 damage and you discard your first five cards and they kill all your creatures and they cast seven creatures. I'm just like, what the f what? I, I swear there's some weird program built into the, the camera phone portion of this. I feel like whenever I'm playing this game and I look away for like, you know, five seconds while my opponent takes its turn, I go from being like, you know, having all my cards in my hand ready to cast as I need them, a whole bunch of creatures, and they have an empty board, and I have a bunch of supports, and I look away, and I look back, all my supports are gone, all my creatures are gone, they've cast every card in their hand, they've got a whole bunch of creatures, and everything in my hand is discarded or lost all its mana. I'm like, what did you do in five seconds? <laughs> anyway, um, this has been another fun episode. This guy's tricky. We're not going to play him. <clears throat> it would involve me yelling at the screen. No one wants that. Um, so we're going to call that another episode. I'm really bummed we didn't open anything with our cards. Anything fun. Can we even craft anything? We opened a lot of crap. We're 300 shy. Darn. That will have to wait for another day. Another day of Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest. I have enjoyed this episode. Uh, we didn't open anything fun, but uh, we had some fun games. And that's really what the game is about. Or so I'm told. Just kidding. Alright. I'm actually going to end it here. Thanks, gang. Talk to you later. Oh, you can exit the game with escape. Isn't that cool? Um, no. I meant to do this. Goodbye.